all in, all you. Yay, it's Saturday. I am so glad we get to be here together today to get strong. That's what we're working on today. We have got a circuit style workout. We're going to get right into our warm up. And then as we go through the warm up, I'm going to explain the structure, the weights we need. But just before we go, so in case you need to run around the house and get your pods, I have got my balance pods today. This is going to be for our second circuit in the lower body. So if you've got these, feel free to grab them. If you don't, no worries. You can just do the exercises without them. But these just add a little extra oomph to things. So if you want them, grab them. We're gonna go start out with our first warm up exercise, which is gonna be a squat to alternating knee pull. So hands behind our head in a prisoner squat. We're gonna take it down as you come up, take that knee to elbow and cross it over. So taking it nice and slow here, working on our balance, getting the spine warm, the legs. Good, and as you go into this squat, as you feel those muscles start to get warm, you can take it a little bit deeper. We'll do a couple more and then we're gonna do quad pulls. We'll do two more on each side. Here's two. And last one. Oh, Shante, thank you. Yes, Shante's on it. Start your watch if you would like to do that to track your workout. Boop. All right, quad pulls. So bringing Heel up to, towards your bum and just holding it for a second, kind of marching it here. Oh, I can tell you for our workouts coming up in the future, quads are feeling it. I'm like, oh, still feeling that after like three days. Arm circles next. During our arm circles, arm circles, I'll explain the structure. Good, one more each side. So here's one and two. So arm circles forward here and then we'll go back. But structure for today's workout, pretty simple. We've got three circuits, one for upper body, one for lower, and then a short circuit for abs. Five exercises in circuits one and two. We're gonna repeat those circuits two times. Abs, one time through, four exercises. So that's the structure, working for 45. Let's take it back here, resting for 20. In between circuits though, we'll get 45 seconds to rest. Nice big circles back, breathing as we go. Couple more warm up exercises. Good, really think about making that nice big circle. Let's do two and then we're gonna go into good mornings. Last one. So with our good mornings, legs out, hands on our hips. We're gonna drive the hips back, back flat. So here we go. Think about good form here because we are actually going to add this exercise into circuit two with some weight. So usually we use this as a warm up exercise. It's so good for the hamstrings. You really feel a nice stretch, but we're gonna add that weight coming up in circuit two. So just keep that in mind. So again, back is flat driving the hips back, slight bend in the knees. And I bet you can already imagine the muscles we're gonna work with this one. We'll do one more and then we're gonna go into our low sumo hold. Last one. One of my favorite warm up exercises here, taking it out, legs out, toes turned out, dropping it down, taking those arms, pressing back here, opening up the hips and just rocking it side to side. Still think about keeping your back nice and long. So sticking that chest out towards the floor. Good, let's take our hands up and then drop one shoulder and then switch. Good, other side. Couple more here. Last two and one. Good, and bringing it up. All right, so for, to, for the um, exercises, like I said, we're gonna repeat them twice. So we're going to repeat each exercise twice. So the same exercise twice, then move on. So that's the structure. First exercise is a narrow grip row, or I like to call also a landmine row. So if you'd like to use one dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell in the center or two, but you're gonna pin them together. So first exercise, let's grab our weights and let's get ready. <sighs> All right. So if you've got one, 
I find it easiest to kind of clasp your hands around it, cross your fingers in between. But again, if you have those two weights, make sure you're squeezing them together. So form before we get, begin, shoulders rolled back, bum is back towards that wall, slight bend. We're gonna bring it up to our chest in three, two, and one. Here we go, pull it up. Squeeze, lifting moderately heavy. Did I say that yet? I'm not sure. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but that's the goal today. Moderately heavy. Nice, slow and controlled here. And then hold it at the top. Shoulder blades around spine, exhale, squeeze, hold, and control it nice and slow down. Really control that slow lower down to keep those muscles activated all the way. 15 out. How's the weight? Right now is where you decide. Did you go heavy enough or is it too heavy and your form is starting to get questionable? You've got one more shot. You can up the weight or lower it, whatever you need, in three, two, one, 20 seconds. All right, so one more time through. We're gonna do that again. If you find that your lower back is starting to irritate you with this one, you can take a staggered stance and take one leg back and then do that row. Five out, so let's grab our weight, getting ready. Here's three, two, and one. Row it up. Go it again, nice and slow. You can work at your own tempo. Just don't rush through. Exhale and squeeze. Long spine, core is engaged. So you're thinking about squeezing that belly button in. Over halfway. <laughs> 10 seconds. Woo, keep working, because we are feeling it now. Oh my, last five, three, two, and one. Nice job, all right, moving on to bicep curls. So we are gonna work a wide curl. That means arms are gonna be out. Think about the weight. You might need to go down a little bit compared to your regular bicep curl. I've been working with 20s, but for this one, I'm dropping it to 15. Oh, Jason, it's just 20 seconds. So, after each circuit, we get 45. So arms turned out wide, elbows tucked in. Here we go. Squeeze up. Exhale, tighten up those biceps. Slightly different angle means we're gonna work those muscles in a slightly different way. There are two different muscles in your biceps, your long and short head. So using a different variation of hand position, whether we do hammer or wide or that neutral, works in a different way. So that's why we gotta mix it up. Whew. 15 out. So ask yourself, how's the weight? Can you go up? Think about it here. Five seconds. Whew. Three, squeeze that bicep, two, keep it tight, and one. Good, all right, if you can go up, let's grab the weight. Ugh. I wanna try it, I wanna try. Always try it, you can always go down, right? All right, so arms out wide, wrists are straight, we lift in three, two, and one, here we go. Squeeze it up, elbows tucked in. Think about that bicep, mind muscle connection right here, tighten up, squeeze, and then down. Woo. Okay, that, that, that's, that's gonna be my max out, I'm gonna go back down. But if you decided you were like, I'm gonna go up and find out, you never know until you try, so always challenge yourself with that heavier weight, because I did two more than I thought I could. I just lifted more weight than I would have if I just stuck with 15. We think about that in strength training is how much weight you're lifting overall. Whew, almost there. Three, two, and one, good. All right, shoulder work now. We're gonna do bottom to top. So one weight, bottom, all the way up, arms straight to the top. We bend it in, keep it close, and then back down. So that's our next exercise. Two sets, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go, so up nice and slow to the top, all the way up, arms straight up. Now bend them down, weight right in front of your face, and then down, and then back up. Don't swing, use that shoulder muscle. Whew. 
Make sure your hips are tucked under here. Soft knees. Almost there. So this is what we're not doing. Okay? <laughs> not that, just in that all arms, all arms up. Good, here's five, three, two, and one. 20 seconds, one more time through. How's the weight? Can you up it? I'm gonna try to go for it again. We'll see, maybe we'll only get two reps again. That's okay. All right, so shoulders roll down and back. Five seconds here. All right, three, two, and let's do it. Bottom, all the way up, squeeze. Elbows bend in, shoulders relax. So don't let those shoulders kind of come up as you're pulling those arms up. Relax them down and back. Woo. And elbows stay in narrow. So you don't want your elbows kind of coming out as you lift. So make sure those elbows are tucked in. We lift and we are well over halfway. Two more exercises, four more sets in this circuit. <sighs> Breathing five out, here it is. Plus three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, reverse grip, tricep kickback. This one is tough. So usually we'll do our kickbacks just like this, but this time, just a little flip there of the wrist. Four seconds, still our bent over position. You can do staggered or a more wide stance, whichever you're comfortable with. And here we go, palms up and in. So as you take them back, switch them up. Good, hold it for a second at the top. This is where we're gonna tighten up the back of the arm. This is where we're working those muscles to tighten up that area. Good. 15 seconds, exhale as you lift. 10 out. Five seconds. Good, three, two, and one. One more set. Breathing. That one is tough, just that little extra flip there of the wrist. We go again, five seconds. So let's hinge it over, shoulders roll back, then we bend down, arms come up, and let's go, 45. Palms towards the ceiling, hold it. Back in. Good, take your time up here, squeeze, exhale. I was checking the clock. I was like, we've got to be at least halfway through. We still have 30 seconds. But now, here it is. Halfway. So close here. Keep that form. Spine nice and long. Oh, there are some exercises that just feel like they're longer than they actually are. <laughs> oh. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. All right. Only muscle. We haven't worked yet, where is it? We got the chest, so we're gonna bring it down. We're gonna keep that same reverse grip. We're really mixing up our grips today. Reverse grip, chest press. So palms in, again, might go a little bit lighter than you normally would with your chest press because that hand position is a little bit more challenging. So bringing it down. Oops, hold on, I gotta move my little pack, there we go. All right, so palms reverse. We're gonna press it up and down in three, two, and one. Here we go, press it up. Wrists are straight. Now as you come down, elbows at a slight angle out. Not too wide, but not at narrow press either. So this works the upper chest muscles a little bit more. The one thing, don't forget, you're still squeezing that armpit egg when you get to the top. Get that full range all the way up. Tighten that up and feel it. Nice and controlled, up and down. Whew. Good, 15 out, drive those shoulder blades in and press. 10 out, couple more reps, you got it. 
Good, here's one more. Three, two, and one. Whew. Nice job. Breathing, all right. I'm trying to think of the, but I wanna, maybe I can show you this way. Just so you can see, when your arms are out, they're just slightly out. So not too wide, not too narrow. So just a slight angle out. All right, so two seconds, grab those weights. And last set, here we go. Press it up. So after this set, this is when we're gonna get 45 seconds to rest. We will talk about circuit two. All the way to the top, press, squeeze, exhale, tighten up the chest muscles. Good, and down. Also cannot believe that we are closing out week 11 of Bike and Bells Thrive. Wow. It's seen, the new year seems like so long ago now. Almost there. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully letting those weights down. 45 seconds here. So there we go. All right, circuit two, we're gonna bring it up. Circuit two is where I mentioned if you've got your balance pods, we will use those. And we're gonna use those for every other exercise for the lower body. So for the first one, we are gonna do a narrow, again, we're kind of mixing up the positions here. Narrow, heel elevated, RDL. So that means legs are gonna be close, heels are up. No pods, you're just gonna do this on the ground. So we're gonna do two sets of that. We're going heavy though, so grab your moderately heavy weights. And let's get ready, five seconds out. Heels up, and let's begin. The heel elevation gives you a little bit deeper range of motion, and then this narrow position also. Think about squeezing the legs, so then we're gonna get those inner thighs activating more as well. Soft knees, long spine. Driving the hips back nice and slow. Exhale, squeeze. Really think about using that power in the hands and glutes to pull you up. So we're not trying to think about the arms or the back doing the work here. It's hands and glutes. They tighten, they squeeze. Last three, two, and one. Good. Woo. One more set like that. All right, feel that a little bit deeper if you've got your pods out here. Plus, the balance aspect of the pods is also challenging. So, one more set here. All right, shoulders rolled down and back, 45 on. Here we go. Nice and slow. And pull, squeeze. Now, if you don't have pods, you can use books or anything with a little bit of elevation also to put your heels on for future reference. And if you do have your pods and you're like, I'm in a balanced pod mood kind of day and we're doing one of our strength workouts, you can always add these under your heels for squats or even RDLs to mix things up. 15 seconds. Oh, wow. Exhale, squeeze. Here's five, three, two, and one. All right, no weights for this one. Weights down and out. We're bringing it to the wall. So find your space. We're gonna do a wall sit, alternating leg extension. So not only are we gonna be working the legs and the glutes, the top of the legs, the quads there, really gonna be, whoa, hello, little camera. <laughs> All right, so alternating sides here, 90 degrees. Let's begin. So lift, squeeze, hold it, tighten it up, and then down. Whew. Squeeze, and down. Back is up against that wall. And if you did the posture workout from this week, you had some practice with that. So think about that as we're working through this. Think about pushing that back up against the wall, head is up. Where's the timer, Jason? Because I need help. <laughs> okay. I was like, where are we at? <laughs> I feel like we're doing this way longer than 45 seconds, but it's okay because we can do it. 
15 out. Whenever I need a little more motivation, I, th I think it was The Nutty Professor. I can't remember what movie it was. But they're at the table and they're like, Hercules, Hercules. And I remind myself, I'm like, let's go, we can do it. Oh, and we did it. All right. One more set like that, though. So if you need a little cheer in, there we go. 10 seconds out. Oh. All right. Let's bring it back down. Didn't think I was going to get that out of breath on this one, but here we are. All right, shoulders back. Let's do it, 45. Now, tighten up that muscle, tighten it. You can look down and almost see the shake. I know you can feel it. Hold it and squeeze. Body weight exercises can be just as effective as our weight exercises. Don't let yourself start sliding up. Make sure, trying to keep those legs at 90. 10 seconds. Here's five. Three, two, and one, yes. All right, back. I said every other, we're gonna do our pod. So, we're gonna go into a heel elevated goblet squat. A Little bit of space in between those pods now. Goblet squat, one dumbbell right there. All right, heels up and let's squat it. Down and press. Ooh. Head up, chest up. Elbows tucked in. Now if you've got those pods under your heels, still think about pushing through the heels. Don't push through the toes. Still pushing all that weight through the heels. Think about pushing that floor away. Halfway. And you want a little extra oomph? Just hold it for just, just two counts. One, two. And then press up. Eight out. Good. Four, three, two, one. Whew. 20 seconds. I don't even want to put this down. I do, but I don't. <laughs> More energy to pick it up at this point. Whew. 10 seconds. All right, getting ready, here's five. Back into position, last time. Let's go. And press. Two exercises, four sets after this to finish circuit two. Pressing through the heels, keeping that chest up, shoulders relaxed. Under 20. Good. Good, here's five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing, all right, so pods are out for this one. Remember, so I'm just turning the heater off. I needed it, but now I definitely do not. We are doing our good morning. So I mentioned that um, in the warm up. So for the good morning, you can put one weight in the back or you can put two right on the shoulder. So whichever you're comfortable with, let's grab our weights for that. We're gonna bring them up. So similar to an RDL, we're gonna drive the hips back, weights in a different place though. So here we go, drive it back, chest comes down and then up. Ooh. Good. Body nice and long here from head to bum. So driving those hips to the wall behind you, chest staying flat and up. Ooh. So you can feel, like I said, this is similar to our Romanian deadlift where we're keeping a slight bend in the knee, but hinging at the hips. But this weight placement makes everything different. Good, and up. Almost there, drive it back. You can feel the core really activating on this. Here's three, two, and one, good. All right, one more set. Now with the weights, you're still keeping a balance here from the front of the weights 
And then you just have a little bit of support here through the shoulders. <sighs> Let's get ready to go again. So think about going nice and slow on this one. And let's begin. Drive it back. Good, squeeze up. Weight stays in the heels. Push those hips back, soft knees, squeeze. Good, here it is. Almost that halfway point. We made it halfway. One more exercise after this, so stay strong. You've got it. Legs are shaking. We're working through something difficult right now, and that's good. We are practicing for those difficult things in life when they come up. And we're gonna say, hey, I remember that time? Yep, I'm gonna do this outside in life too. Last one, awesome, all right. Now, we're gonna bring it down for a narrow glute bridge. The pods are gonna come into play a little bit different on this one. You're gonna put the, the base of your pods together and you're gonna squeeze in this narrow position. Now, if you don't have the pods, squeeze those legs together the entire time. So rolling it onto our back. Sorry, I'm behind. I know our timer is done, but I don't think any of you are gonna complain about our longer rest. <laughs> and if you are, I don't know. I don't know that. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so rolling it back. Narrow position, so without the pods, legs are pinned. With the pods, you are squeezing these pods the entire time. And here we go. Lift, weight is in the heels, squeeze. And down. Back as flat as you come down. And back as flat as you go up. So no arching in the back. Main thing here is think about the squeeze in the glutes. That's where I want you to make that mind-muscle connection. Tighten up, squeeze. Ooh. Also, squeezing those legs together. You're gonna feel the inner thighs more. We've really had a lot of fun with the inner thighs today. Good, 15. Breathing. All right, last five. Three, two, and one. Letting it come down, resting here. Last lower body exercise, then it's all abs. One time through, we've got four exercises for that. So in 10, I'm gonna be right on with the rest time. <laughs> so get ready, five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Lift, squeeze, up, hold it, and down. <sighs> Think about the floor is lava right here for the back, so we're not letting that the, the lower back rests on the floor at all. We just go whoops, quick tap, and then right back up. <sighs> Weight is in the heel, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze them together. <sighs> Good, here's that 10 second mark. <sighs> all right, hold it with me up for five, hold it at the top, four, three, Two, one, there it is, down and 40, well, 45. End of circuit, so we can talk about our abs. All right, so abs, like I said, four exercises. Work is gonna stay the same, rest is gonna stay the same, 45, 20. We have a side crunch first, so you can take the side crunch with both legs coming up or one leg bent and down and squeezing that top leg up straight or bent, whichever you feel comfortable with. So a lot of variations, one side and then the other. Then we are going to do the dead bug iso hold, where we are just going to focus on that low back, pressing into the mat. Finally, plank to bear crawl. So I'll show you what that looks like in between our rest, but side crunch first in five. Here's three, two, and one. Remember one time through, so really focus on good reps here. Full range. Kind of sitting back on your cheek there a little bit. So not too far forward, but also not too far back. There's that little happy sweet spot right there. That kind of gives you some balance, but also helps you really work the obliques. Five seconds. 
seconds. Three, two, and one. 20 seconds, flip it over, other side. Whew, nice job. We are close. All right, so again, kind of just finding the sweet spot. You have the option, this or both. In five seconds, here's three, two, and one. Good, the exhale comes with that contraction. So as you're tightening up those abs, that's where you squeeze, get all that air out, and tighten up those muscles. Woo, 20 seconds. I think you will be happy that abs is just one time through. Because <laughs> the burn is already happening. Woo. Good, this is three, two, and one. All right, so ISO dead bug hold. This is all about focusing. This is all about contracting that core the entire 45 seconds. Main thing, legs up at 90. Don't let them creep in. Keep them straight up. So knees right up towards the ceiling. Fingertips right up towards the ceiling. Tuck the hips. So low back is pressed in and we hold. So squeeze the abs right here. Squeeze them, push that low back into the mat. Now if, again, if you did that posture, workout or routine that um, was out on Wednesday, that, th that will help you if you are struggling with kind of tucking those hips and working on your posture here for these type of uh, core and ab exercises. So again, that one has so many different purposes that will not only help you with your everyday posture, but also here in your training. And it's something that you can't just do once and be like, I did it, that's it, uh, where's the magic? No, you have to keep doing it. So keep that in mind. Last three, two, and one. Whew. All right, so last exercise, we're gonna walk from a plank to a bear crawl. So it's gonna look like this, plank. We're just gonna walk the feet up, bear crawl hold, and back. So those knees just hover over. What, oh, we got one second, let's go. 45 seconds on, starting in plank, here we go. Now, if you are struggling here to keep this up in plank, you can start plank on the ground, pull your knee in, pull your knee in, and you'll still feel the abs, I promise you. So either way, you've got options here. Make sure elbows tucked in. Woo, abs on fire. All right, 10. Good, here's three, two, and one. You made it, you are amazing. Way to go, that was awesome. Again, we are home stretch of Bike and Bell Strive. Get into week 12, don't give it up, finish strong. You've almost made it. We are so close. Thank you for being here. If you were heading over for cycling, we have got a shuffle ride today. And I can't wait, 45 minutes of just, <laughs> who knows what's coming. So if you are heading over there, I will see you over on the cycling channel very soon. If you are done for the day, you know the drill. Get your stretch, feel good, and go be awesome. I love ya.